Dr. McWheelie. A blue car is driving on the road very fast. It's changing lanes all the time. The traffic lights will turn yellow now, and the blue car accelerates instead of stopping. It won't make it in time. The light is red. The car hits the brakes. Oh, an accident. You can't drive like this. It's dangerous. You can't drive now. Tow truck, please take the broken car to Dr. McWheelie's garage. like a lot of work. You can't violate traffic rules. Okay, let's examine you. Bent suspension, broken windshield, dented hood, a headlight, and the radiator grill came off. First, let's find a headlight. Which one? This? Or this? Or this? Correct! The last one. Now let's fix the suspension and put on a new wheel. Don't lose it again. What about the hood? The dented part has to be replaced. The engine is okay, but we need to put in oil. Let's choose a new hood. Which one? This? No. This? Not good. And this one? Looks great. Now paint it. do we need? Purple? No. Blue. Next, the windshield. Remove the old windshield and install the new one. And here is the grill. The car looks like new. You can go, but don't break traffic rules anymore. Be careful on the road.
Dr. McQueely. This is a showroom where cars are sold. And here is Dr. McWheely. She needs a new car. Something bigger than her convertible. So let's go and take a look. There are so many different cars here. Let's take a look at all of them. This is an electric car. The trunk opens, and so does the hood. It has large wheels. But you can't carry very many tools in a car like this. So let's take a look at another one. This is a sports car. It's very fast. But it's more for racing than for work. Dr. McWheely, let's continue. This is a yellow two-door sedan. It's beautiful, but it's too small. You can't fit all your tools in it, so it's not what you need. What else do they sell here? Another sports car, only green this time. Let's look inside. It also doesn't have enough space. Do you have any bigger cars? Look, a small blue truck. It's specially made for transporting goods. Get in and try it out, Dr. McWheely. No? You don't like it? You need a more comfortable cabin. Oh, found it! This is a big red minivan. It has sliding doors and back, so it's convenient for loading tools. And the cabin is quite spacious. All you need to do is add the Dr. McWheely inscription. Let's take it for a test drive. Oh, it stopped. The car broke down right in the showroom. Let's check it out. Oh, that's no problem. They just forgot to put oil in the engine. Every car has a special device to measure the oil level. It's called a dipstick. It shows how much oil is left in the engine. It has two notches, showing the minimum and the maximum oil levels. There is clearly not enough oil in this car. So let's add some more. Just unscrew the cap and fill it with oil. All done.
Now you can start the car. It's Dr. McQueely. It's raining outside, and Dr. McWheelie is having fun running through the puddles. She looks at her reflection in the water, and then at the ripples in the water. This is so fun! And here's Handy the robot. He has brought an umbrella with him. Dr. McWheelie did not bring an umbrella, and she continued to get soaked by the rain. Finally, she returned home. Dr. McWheelie, you look very tired. And you're coughing. Oh, I see. You've caught a cold. Handy, you need to call the doctor. What? A fever and a cough? We will send you an ambulance. Just wait. Handy can stop worrying now. This is an ambulance. She is hurrying to respond to the call. She turns her siren on so that the other cars will make way for her. The ambulance arrives. Now, the doctor will examine Dr. McWheelie. Tell me, what do you have? Well, a sore throat, of course. Now, let's take your temperature. We need a thermometer like this. Look. Now it reads zero degrees. And when the thermometer is heated, the number on the screen changes. The average temperature of a healthy person is 36.6 degrees Celsius. It's 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And what is Dr. McWheelie's temperature? 38.7. It's 101.6 degrees Fahrenheit. She has a fever. Now we need to look at her throat. It's all red. Dr. McWheelie, you've definitely caught a cold. Here's some medicine and some vitamins for you. Eat healthy food, drink some hot tea with lemon, and you'll be okay. Thank you, doctor. You're so smart. Now, Dr. McWheelie. Dr. McWheelie. Spring has come. There are many vehicles on the road. This is a big car carrier. When such a heavy car drives on the asphalt, it can break. Look. And this is a small car. drove straight into a hole and broke apart. It's lucky that Dr. McWheelie's garage is right here. Dr. McWheelie immediately noticed the accident. She needs to help the car.
Robot Handy brought the car to the garage. It needs repair. And Handy needs to put traffic cones around the hole so no one else would drive over it. Good job, Handy! Meanwhile, Dr. McWheelie is fixing the broken suspension. That's how suspension looks. Dr. McWheelie needs to make the same for the front wheel. We need a rod with a spring, steel levers, wheel disc and brakes. The suspension is ready! Let's attach wheels now! Front and rear Replace the door and the side mirror So, what else do we need? What is it? Correct! It's a front bumper! And a rear bumper! The car is fixed! Come down, little car! Close the hood and the trunk! You can go! Start the engine! Dump truck brought asphalt. Road roller compacted it. The asphalt has cooled down and turned into stone. The road has been repaired. Dr. McWheelie is very glad. The road is like new. I wonder who will come to Dr. McWheelie for help next.